how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back to another segment of what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the products that I'm liking and maybe some products that I'm not liking, um, then just keep on watching. All right, so the first product I'm gonna talk about, Mary Ellen After 60 or over 60. I'm, I'm trying to think which I'll put a link to her channel down below. Love Mary Ellen. She is just such a wonderful, warm hearted lady on here that I really have enjoyed on the YouTube um, world. And we've become pretty good friends and everything. She was talking and discussing about the Pantene Expert um, Age to Five. But this is the uh, Pantene Serum that you put in your hair. It's from the Age to Five collection. Um, right down there you can see and you take this little thing off and put the nozzle like up against on your scalp and spray and squirt um, the serum out um, and it feels like a tingling sensation and you massage it all on your scalp it helps for hair growth so if you are somebody like losing hair or having problems with your hair this is a pretty good product it's a little bit pricey in the drugstore and pull mine out not that I like really notice any hair loss I mean we all lose so much hair in a day anyway it's just inevitable we all do it's just it is what it is I spray this on so that my the circulation on my scalp is you know working and everything and um, just to help keep the circulation going on the scalp really like this product a lot I would highly recommend if you are somebody that is struggling with some hair loss um, you know just need a, need a little something extra uh, this is a really great product and it's from Pantene if I didn't say that okay this product here this product was sent to me and uh, I've been working with it for a while now the company is from Tria um, they have several different uh, laser treatment uh, products this is the age-defying eye wrinkle correcting laser so you put it like right the where the crow's feet kind of are and you mark it down and around so it is a laser treatment they did send me um, the nourishing eye renewal cream as well so I will have a video up and discuss this a little bit more um, about it um, lip treatments I have a couple lip treatments here that one you've heard me talk about a good bit which is the Dr. Dines Hydra Shield the lip Hydra Shield lip balm and it's like of a peachy tone on it this is probably one of the best lip balms I ever use. So I really like that product. And then this cute little uh, lip therapy from Vaseline is Rosy Lips. It's the one like this. It's just like this little cute little Vaseline container for the lips. This one I've been doing a lot at night. I've really been enjoying this. I like this. Okay, product that is a not so much. That I am not liking. Uh, I got it a while ago, not even sure, and I really didn't get a chance to really use it. You know how it is you buy products and then you're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. So this is one of them here. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last. It's a retractable eyeliner. Like it has the little smudgy thing on the end here. I don't know. I think this one might have been from a limited edition, so it might be a limited edition color, but it's a pretty funky pink pink shade um the only problem is is when i try putting it in my because like if i want to pop a color put it on my waterline or somewhere around there it's one of those ones that's too it's too drying it's it hurts the eye area just put it that way it's too drying there like i was just going by going ee, 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 you know like doing that little skid little skid thing um it didn't work out i tried it a couple times like that and just didn't work out um, it could like, cause I said before, I would probably use it maybe as a lip liner. I'm not sure I didn't do that yet because I'm not sure how well it's going to do since it's skid here. Is it going to skid around the lips? So I'm not really liking it at all. I wouldn't recommend these eyeliners personally myself. I wouldn't recommend them. Another product don't like, <laughs> and I know some people like this product cause I have seen them share it on their videos and stuff. Um, I haven't seen it recently, but like I've, I know a lot of people seem to have liked this product. 
it just doesn't work for me at all and plus it's like kind of coming out i have a problem with these crayon things like they seem to want to as you can see like they, they want to pop out for some reason okay um this is the l'oreal uh true match super blendable so super blendable crayon concealer now again it dragged like it's too rough it's just too drying too rough like mine is anyway if anybody else maybe i got a, a bad one i don't know um but it's just too dry too rough for the eye area so i wouldn't recommend this i'm probably actually gonna throw this away the wet one i'll probably keep just to try for the lips but if it don't work i'll probably throw that away but I'm, I'm i'm sorry just no oh another hair product eee, forgot about this this comb this comb dee dee can you see this comb but this is from when you know the company when that has the when cleansing conditioner and everything okay and like i tried that didn't work for me it's it was just it, it doesn't work for me you get a comb with that kit this comb has been great for me like i take it in the shower when i wash my hair and i comb through this really gets a lot of the tangles out um i don't know it's just one of the better it's like a very nice good thick comb i'm not sure how much it is to be honest that i don't know but it's a good comb um maybe you might be able to get in sally beauty supply if you have one near you um a real good thick comb but yeah really really like that that comb okay another lip product which <clears throat> nyc like the same thing you see with the concealer from l'oreal i had a problem with the nyc eye primer there's like these little crayons and there's a lip primer and then there's an eye primer the eye primer was just total epic fail for me it was too greasy it was it was just no it didn't work out for me but this guy this nyc uh city proof twistable perfecting lip primer that's a lot um i really like this it's kind of funky because it does give a little bit of color to it and sheen and it also has like a duochrome or something to it this is great to put on your lips before you put your lip product on like i just put it on the rub it in or even just a little bit in the middle of your lip let's try it now i'll show you even in the middle of your lip area to kind of highlight that area you can do it on both sides see it kind of just gives a little extra something there i really like this product this one i would say get the lip primer from nyc speaking of eyes i have one of these little smudgy pots from elf this one is in wine not you probably won't see that those are that's too too small and pretty but it's called wine not really really pretty pretty color really like these a lot these are great for just a quick fix on the eyes which i've been doing lately that's it right there it's really pretty pretty color also for the eyes um i'm really liking mally's more and more more is more mascara it's a different one than her volumizing mascara the bristles are a little bit more um pointier i don't know it has like the little ball on top like a lot of these mascaras are starting to have um it really grabs a hold of the lashes really nice that is kind of what i have on my eyes right now i don't know if you can see it too well but um i really like it i do like her volumizing mascara but i'm really starting to really like this one too so this is the more is more it's in black packaging her volumizing one's more in the white packaging so i got two blushes one is from tarte it's from or it's from tarte <laughs> I said that and the shade is fearless i'm not sure you can see that but it says fearless i don't know if this shade still exists because i think it comes in a or it came in a kit but you can look on our site i'm not sure but it's a really pretty peachy um shade with it's really pretty like you can see some sparkles i don't know if you're seeing them but you can see some sparkles in there but they don't come off onto your cheek or anything like that it's gonna be a really pretty peach pinky peach i would say my other blush i think i mentioned this before in a favorites because but i like it it's milani and this one is the bella rosa number four 
So it's a more baby pink, more of a baby pink shade, which I love these blushes. And there it is there. Not there. I guess if I wipe it on me better. These are a little bit more powdery than because like the tarts more goes on smoother. They're a little bit more powder. But it's a baby pink kind of a color. It's really pretty. So I really like that. And then last but not least, one of my favorite highlighters that I've been using is Candlelight from Too Faced. This is the one. They have one that has peach on one side and, and the highlighter. This one has the pink coloring. Um, this is just such a beautiful, you can use one, one side over the other or just the whole thing. But such, look at that. That is such a pretty, pretty highlight. Yeah, you can use you can use the pink side if you want to. There's the pink side. There's the yeah, and see the difference in the two. So yeah, you can use one or the other or the whole thing. Yeah, beauties, that is it. That is what I am liking so far and what I'm not liking so far. Um, if you guys liked this video you can give me a thumbs up that would help me out so much and I really appreciate that if you are not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you guys so you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real be shine through so until the next time y'all take care I will see you then Mwah. love you guys bye